30 at 30. 30 at 30. 30 at 30 is 30 minutes with your favorite ARCA personality. It could be almost anyone. Almost anyone. And you can ask them almost anything. Almost anything. 30 at 30. Weekdays at 3.30 Eastern. Only at ARCARacing.com. Stephen Volk, keeping us queued up from Ludington, Michigan. Stephen, say hello to everyone. Hello to everyone. Good to have you here. How are things in Ludington today, by the way? So things in Ludington are actually uh, pretty snowy, and we're done. Uh, I would say we're we are now officially done uh, with winter. I would, you think uh, so? Yeah, uh, right yeah. Now? I mean, no, I meant mentally, we're done okay. with winter. I was going to say because you you are physically on the edge of Lake Michigan, which tells me you're probably not done. <sighs> yeah, yeah. With, it's actually with, with winter. Yeah, but. down there at lunch, and uh, yeah. it's uh, it's evil. Seventeen degrees, snowy. Oh, yeah. We're you know what happened to Daytona? We raced some cars, and the sun came out. Well, let's. I tell you what. Let's let's bring in the third leg of this deal, driver of the Eddie Sharp Racing Toyota, Tim George Jr., who joins us today from sunny, warm California. Tim, how are you? Good, good. Yeah, it's actually nice here, but uh, I don't know about that weather in Daytona being so nice, at least for the 500, and uh, <laughs> yeah, this is a little crazy, but uh, yeah, I'm glad to be, uh, be out here. Fontana's looking good this weekend. Okay, you're in Fontana. That means you must be hooked up with what's going on in the world of NASCAR this weekend. You're you're spending your time at the track this weekend. What are you doing? Well, not all my time. Um, I actually am going to go over. Uh, I'm really into golf, so I'm going to check out uh, the PGA event at Riviera for a little Sounds bit like of a uh, Friday. Schedule, um, Tim. Some of my brutal. PGA buddies. I think we're doing it wrong, Don. You know, <laughs> we got snow. He's got golf, race cars, all that sort of thing. And, you know, I mean, there was some sort of mention before we went on the air about a girlfriend or something. You know, what's, what's wow, um, golf. But yeah, no, I will get over to Fontana and uh, you know, um, good buddy Michael McDowell running uh, nationwide. And Notice how he skipped right over the girlfriend on the air. It just went yeah. away. It did. <laughs> it did. It just like it didn't happen. It's gone. So. Golf, girls, and California. What? I don't. I don't that seems like the perfect mix. Um, so, so your buddies with Michael McDowell. Did we, did we just hear that? Yeah, he's been helping me out a little bit, uh, you know, in the early stages, and uh, he's really helped me get a simulator together, which I'm excited. I haven't burned laps on it yet, but uh, I'm excited to learn some of these tracks. You know, I haven't been to probably 90 percent of the tracks I'll race in ARCA this year, and I think the sim will help me help me a ton. And yeah, any advice from anybody, you know, I'm open to, and uh, especially Michael's been really nice. And uh, so I'm going to go over and see how his deal's running over over there nationwide. And um, also TRG Motorsports is, is running a, a truck deal, and they have a cup entry as well. And I raced for them last year, and, you know, I'm interested in seeing uh, what's going uh, down in their garage, too. What well, software are you going to use for your sim? Sorry, Don. That's okay. You know, it, it's just they're just in the middle of making it. I think GorillaWare is doing this deal. Um, it's not an iRacing deal, but uh, it's it's a pretty good. Uh, it's the all the Arca tracks. So I'm not 100 percent familiar with it yet. I don't even have it yet. But uh, you know, the ball is just getting rolling on that deal. Did you say that TRG Motorsports has a uh, cup entry this weekend out there in Fontana? That's right. I think they released a press release a couple of days ago that said they're okay. going to go for the next it. four cup races, at least attempt to qualify. Who, who's and, driving um, the car? Unfortunately, they didn't qualify for the Daytona 500. They were just off a little bit, but uh, yeah, they you know they're going to try to do this race here. I think they have a good chance of getting in the show, and uh, you know I hope they do. Who's driving the car? Who is driving that car this weekend? It's uh, I'm pretty sure it's uh, David Gilland. I'm pretty okay. sure. Yeah, all I can right. I'll look well, that up in a second, but yeah, I'm pretty sure he is driving the deal. Okay. Um, you know, so that's kind of. You know, put together uh, pretty quickly, but they have uh, you know they have Butch on the car, and they have uh, they have a couple other really really good people on the car there. Um, yeah, and it's well, funny because it looks the same as the Arca car that I drove at Talladega last year. So it's it's a little you know it's sentimental to me to see that uh, that blue seventy one, the blue uh, and yellow seventy one, almost looks kind of like Jimmy Johnson's cars a little bit. But yeah, it's David Gilliland um, in there this year. This, I mean, this week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, well, you have a connection with TRG Motorsports. In fact. Uh, didn't you run with TRG Motorsports when you were running all your Grand Am Rolex GT races? That's right. Yeah, I started with them in uh, 2007, running some GT stuff, and then uh, ran with uh, 
Spencer Pompelli uh, part of the year last year, and then Andy Lolly, um, who's also running a bunch of truck stuff and nationwide. And um, Andy's become a good friend of mine as well. And uh, yeah, so TRG definitely has uh, a place in uh, you know in my uh, background and hopefully my future as well. Um, I'm going to try to do a do a truck race here this season or two, and you know as you can see how Arca progresses. You know I have a steep learning curve there, and uh, you know if, uh, if it's looking like it makes sense, uh, we'll try to put that together. Sponsor yeah. pending. Yeah, well, yeah, like anyone who comes here, Tim, for the first time, there there is a big learning curve because the schedule in this ARCA Remax Series world is so diverse, but it's worth noting that you're certainly off to a great start. I want to congratulate you uh, from the 34th starting position at Daytona up to 8th in the final and finishing your order. schedule is obviously very, very busy. However, having said all that, your main focus will be still the ARCA Remax Series in 2009, despite whatever else you may do. Is that correct? Well, that's right. You know, we, uh, you know, my focus uh, is is to get the Rookie of the Year in ARCA to back up Rolex Rookie of the Year with uh, ARCA Rookie of the Year. That would be that would be just a dream come true right there. Yeah, because you were the GT um, Rolex Rookie of the Year last year, correct? Yeah, that's right. It was yeah. uh, it was a great year for me, and uh, you know, big shout out to TRG and TRG Motorsports. They helped a lot, and Kevin Buckler and uh, that whole that whole crew over there. Uh, you know, Brock, everyone who worked on my car was uh, was really good, um, and I finished fourth in the GT class, and then yeah, ended up snagging that uh, Rookie of the Year um, over DP and GT class. So that was, was very very cool to go up on that stage and in, uh, in Vegas and you know give my speech and. You know, I had my index cars there and just standing up in front of all those people. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a cool feeling. I hope to be doing the same thing at the end of this season. Yeah. D- didn't you win a, a, a GT race at New Jersey Motorsports Park last year? Yeah, that was definitely one of the highlights of the season. Andy and I uh, brought that uh, serious radio, Johnny O clothing, uh, T- TRG Porsche home um, to first place. And I'm really looking forward uh going back there this season. Um you know, the ARCA series. I don't know if we're going to be able to test there before, but, you know, I really feel feel good about that place. That last corner on that track is just something. I mean, getting all the way up on that corner. Uh, and then coming turbine, onto that just, big, long you know, straightaway? That's just, yeah, that's insane. But, uh, you know, I like it, and I love road courses. And speaking of road courses, you know, I really want to try to do the Glen, as I mentioned before, and, you know, the nationwide deal. We'll see what comes together sponsor-wise. But, uh, you know, I sat on a Skip Barber pole there, a national pole there, and, you know, it was, it's, Skip Barber really helped me out there a lot. And then, Qualified top ten last year in GT, and the race didn't go that well. We had a little brake issue, but um, I feel really good on the track there. So I hope hope I can make that happen. Cool. Now you are. I know you, you, it says on the entry list, you know Tim George Jr. from Petaluma, California, but you are actually born and raised in New York. New York is that true? Yeah, that's right. When we did that, um, you know, I was kind of going back and forth between either running with uh, TRG and Arca and uh, with Eddie Sharp um, and. I was living up there, you know, working for TRG in the marketing department, which was a great experience. Um, but now, you know, I've actually moved my home base to, to Charlotte. So I'll be in Charlotte mostly, but I'm from New York, was raised in the city, and then, you know, kind of grew up uh, in the suburbs there, uh, you know, and went to college in Miami. So kind of all around. I've been all around the U.S., but uh, Charlotte's beautiful. Yeah, it, it is, and it, I can tell you have been all around the U.S. You have a Bachelor of Arts in English. Do I have that right from the University of Miami? Yeah, that's right. UM was a great school for me, and uh, you know I was there uh, watching those last games at the Orange Bowl, and now you know that whole you know stadium's gone. It's real sad to see that go, but you know I was a big UM football fan, and uh, I had a double minor in history and economics as well. So yeah, you know I kind of you know really worked hard there in, in college, and now you know I'm, I'm ready to take that you know education and see what see what I can you know apply to the the racing world uh, later on in my career. Sounds like you got a lot going on, Tim, and we're very grateful you chose the ARCA Remax Series to be part of your world in 2009. Best of luck to you this year. Uh, we'll be watching. So, right, guys, really appreciate the interview. Have a great yeah, day. Great, great to have you on, Tim. Good luck. Uh, I want to remind everyone that Daryl Basham will be joining us tomorrow on 30 at 30 right here at ARCARacing.com. Longtime veteran of the series, dating back all the way to 1972. He's an incredible story. you got to be here for it. Hope you enjoyed today's show, and we hope to have you back tomorrow afternoon sharp at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time. For Stephen Volpe, I'm Don Radeball. Have a great night, everyone. <laughs>